Yo soy Daniel el Toro y hoy vamos a aprender del ciclo del carbono. El carbono en el aire está unido al oxígeno en forma de CO2. Todos los organismos están hechos de carbono. Let's start with the carbon in our Earth's atmosphere. Most of it exists as carbon dioxide, that's one carbon and two oxygens. The carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere is taken in by plants for photosynthesis, a process they use to produce glucose and oxygen. Meanwhile, animals take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide and water vapor into the atmosphere through a process called cellular respiration. Plants are eaten by animals and the carbon molecules in the plants are transferred to the animal. This animal is eaten by another animal who takes the first animal's carbon molecules. Another animal eats that one. That one is eaten by another animal as well. Then the top carnivore eats that one as well. When an animal poops or dies, decomposers break down the waste and release the carbon into the detritus back into the atmosphere. So far, you've learned about the fast cycling of carbon, which is when the carbon moves through different reservoirs in the ecosystem and begins the cycle again in a short time. The other type of cycling is, you guessed it, slow cycling. Slow cycling is the creation of fossil fuels by organisms from long ago into things such as coal. And ancient dinosaur corpses are the ones that get turned into fossil fuels over time, right? Wrong. In reality, ancient dead plants are what makes most of the fossil fuels we retrieve today. Dead plants, when they are trapped underground without having been decomposed thoroughly, and over millions of years, they become fossil fuels. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, humans have been burning these fossil fuels for power and this process releases carbon dioxide into the air. Lots of it. And it may be accelerating global warming by amplifying the greenhouse effect. The ocean is a sink. Although, I wouldn't be washing my dishes in it if I were you. The ocean is a carbon sink, meaning it can store lots of carbon dioxide in it by dissolving the carbon dioxide into the water. There you have it, the carbon cycle in its entirety. Hasta la vista!